So again, something I didn't plan on doing is plumbing work. Uh, and I really thought I was going to get lucky and get away with not having to do anything. But it looks like I'm going to need to do some PEX work. Uh, so... That's the new water heater. And it is... Fits the same opening, but it is a lot smaller than the original. Which I expected from when I ordered it. And really, it's to my advantage, and I'm saving a little bit of weight. And uh, now that I've got all this open area... This is where I plan to eventually start uh, putting batteries. And let's see, I'm thinking, well, I don't know which way I'm going to go yet. I'm either going to do three 100 amp hour or one big 300 amp hour, but I think 300 amp hour right now is my preliminary magic number I'm going by on how much battery I need um, when I start getting into solar and off-grid prep uh, and I've gone through the dimensions of the batteries and uh, the dimensions of the new water heater and measure it all in here and I have plenty of room so uh, that's the good thing. Um, but I need to get some of this out of the way because if I do that big 300 amp hour battery, it's gonna, it's gonna pretty much take up this whole area. It's a big one. Um, so I need, I've got, I've got the gas line about where I want it to go here I just need to get it up to the threads there I'm just trying to be very careful with it um, and working it up there um, and then the pecs so tops hot bottoms cold um, shut off valves uh, side question I do not understand the purpose of this valve. I'm sure it's got to do something with draining or winterizing the unit, but I just I have been playing around with the different valve combinations that you can do here between the three, and I just can't see what good or what that can do. Um, and I thought I might have had a little leak here. But now that I got my light on, it's dry here though. Kind of, uh, I guess it's a little wet. I think maybe the water is coming from my fittings here. I was playing with the valves the other day, so I had a little bit of water here. Um, I did find uh, this was all covered with linoleum up to the wall. But it was all starting to get tore up with water damage along the edge back there. So um, I was reading in the instruction manual that they don't want this water heater unit sitting on any type of linoleum or vinyl and they prefer that it sit on wood. So that's why I cut that strip up which uh, here uh, there was a wood block here and the back of the old water heater as you can see by where the pecs fit You know the back of the water heater came all the way back here <clears throat> but I cut this linoleum up and guess what All wet under there I don't know how far it goes. I don't know where it came from there's a good possibility that there was a, you know, it was coming in through bad 
sealant around the old water heater. Um, it could be the seam issue that I'm having, water coming in the seam. But this is really wet. Uh, my The floor on the other side of the cabinet here where I first saw the leak. You know, there's the... Here's one side of the wheel well on the other side of the wheel well there i mean i've got a lot of water that pools up on top of the wheel well which i don't think there's anything in there now but i get a lot of water that pools up under the wheel well but and then i get you know some water that pools up on uh the wood down there but i don't have a wet floor at all from that leak on this side so, uh, and I mean, there's other possibilities of, let's see, that's the city water inlet. Uh, you know, I know the sealant on the outside is bad. Uh, that's one of the reasons I really wanted to paint this thing so I could take every, you know, take all these little fixtures off and get them resealed. Um, and then this is the water tank fill. Um, you know, all, all the sealant there is bad, so it could be coming in there. Um, I've got a light on the outside that's about straight through. Let's see. Yeah, it's just above, or just a little over to the side of the water heater. Um, that I've had off, and I've just had a plastic bag shoved in there, and I thought maybe that's where the water was coming in. But I stick my finger in the hole out there and the insulation right there at the hole is bone dry and I you know poke my finger around as much as I can I can't feel any moisture or water coming in where I had the light off um, and let's see I mean that looks that all looks dry um, you know, that's that's all dry, so I don't think the water's coming in there. I mean, there's no... This has always been dry. I've never had any water down there. Here's my water pump. Um, it seems like the moisture is originating over here. And you can see, you know, the wall's wet there. Um, which could throw it back to the seam that's leaking and it's coming down the wall from that seam and I think it's it's taking it a little while to kind of percolate underneath the wall out into this area and I think that's what it does here in the wheel well too is it's coming down inside the wall and then it slowly percolates underneath the sheeting there and then pools on top of the plastic wheel well. Um, I think that's probably the most likely uh, 